It's a little after 4 o'clock Central Time on Saturday, June 30th, 2018. This is a very short emergency live transmission to everybody out there watching. The globalists, the multinational corporations, the Chinese communists that fund them, they believe that 2018, July 4th, will be the final July 4th. Rob Reiner has called it the final battle of the Civil War. Michael Moore last night on Bill Maher called Trump the last American president. This is all very open. They are taking over the U.S. They are creating the racial division. They are creating the sexual division. They are creating all of the admitted crises in this country in their own admissions in WikiLeaks. And they're horrified to see the economy coming back and all these good things happening. So they're going to throw their full force against America in an attempt to encircle Congress with a million people and then to begin violent actions to run the Patriots in D.C. out of the swamp so they can reestablish it. This has all been announced. I did an earlier report breaking it down. They believe that they're cornered. They know humanity's waking up, and so they're going to launch their full assault of violence and intimidation and terrorist attacks, I believe, in this country. They've got all the Democratic Party talking heads saying, attack Trump supporters, bully him, kick him out of restaurants, hashtag hunt Republicans, go after Congressman Scalise, kidnap Baron Trump, rape him. Uh, that's Peter Fonda, Peter Fonda, uh, Kuzak, firebomb the ICE facilities. They're just following Obama's policy. They are making their move. And so we have to raise the alarm while they're on their own programs like Bill Maher and CNN, the rest of it, energizing their people to make the move. We have to raise the alarm that they know America is back from the dead and they want this July 4th to signify when they're going to launch their counteroffensive and finally finish us. This July 4th is not about hedonism. It's not about hamburgers. It's not about being out on the lake. God knows I love that. It is about, that's the spoils of free market. It's about saying communism and socialism and all this has failed. And what these big mega banks are pushing is about monopolies. And those of you that have signed up against InfoWars, against Trump, against America, against our resurgence, against our rebirth, are idiot dupes, useful idiots, to use a Lenin term, of the globalist. Why would you sign on against free market when you know communism and socialism doesn't work? It's like Bernie Sanders said during the campaign. Things that weren't popular a few years ago, like socialism and communism, are now popular. Only because you've got idiots never raised under it. It's like, cancer is now popular again. Did I take over colleges and bankrupt them? Do I have three $1 million houses? Do I drive on $1,000 cars? Yes, I do. But I rule you the cattle. You are my slave. I am Bernie Sanders. And you go from him right up the chain of crap. The big billionaires want monopolies. They want control. So they want this to be America's last July 4th. Because they realize it's the birth of the new America. It's the resurgence of the Renaissance. They're in full crisis mode. And so going into the new Supreme Court nominee, going into the midterms, going into the most important election in, 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 in history. Because getting Trump in was only a beachhead. This 2018 midterm is for all the marbles. And they're going to be engaged in election fraud. And they're going to have people vote the names of dead people. And they're going to have illegal aliens voting as the Democrats and men. And they're going to be rioting in the streets. And they're going to be up there going, oh, all you Trump supporters hurt the babies. You made Latin America collapse. You made millions come up here. And then, oh my God, if you stop anybody and check who they are coming out of a desert wasteland, you're a Nazi. This is a joke. And when you see... The weak-minded people, they've got lined up to support them and to chant. They're all professors or government workers or little scared leftists that bought into the fact that they were on the winning team and they were the cool group and they were they ran everything and they were going to teach flyover country and Christians and veterans and everybody. They were going to, they were the ruling class. These 
people don't believe in the dream of human empowerment. They believe in China. And it's enslavement of their own population. They believe in authoritarianism. They believe if they go kiss the ass of the globalists, they are in power. But I'm telling you, this July 4th is the launch of the new human revolution that America was all about, 1776 worldwide, just as I told you Trump would win, just as I told you so many other things before anybody else did. I'm telling you, if we take destiny in our hands, this isn't the death of America. This new July 4th, 2018, if we are successful, and I believe we will be, is going to be seen as the rebirth of America and 1776 part two. 242 years later, if we're successful, they're going to look back on this time on when the dream that was never fully realized, but the idea of it created more wealth, more technology than all other countries combined, that the true belief in not having feudalism, but empowering humanity went to the next level. They will look back when we are colonizing foreign stars, when we have interstellar travel. You go, oh, that's far away. No, the technology we've gone from here to there the last 6,000 years is that that big a change going interstellar life extension godlike power if we have the intellect and soul to control it is that much more i mean it's we're that we're 20 feet from the finish line the satanists that wanted to control it that were threatened by it they don't know what to do they've already seen trump go through the finish line they've already seen many of you go through the finish line i've gone through the finish line and they 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 are we're on the other side but We've got to get everybody that's in deep water through, and it's not some utopia, it's real human empowerment. So this new July 4th, 2018, infinity, it's a jump gate. It's the future. 2018, 2018 is critical that we've been given the chance. We've been shown how freedom creates amazing results immediately with limited, limited success. We've barely gotten our nodes into the power structure and it's like turning around right away and the enemy can feel it. So if we can just get to the next level, if we can just get to the next level, it's going to be even easier. And then, and then it's just dealing with all the power. What are you going to do when you live to 500 and beyond? What are you going to do? The, the globalists don't think you deserve this. They look at you and think you're ugly and dumb and because they've helped you be ugly and dumb and me too. And, and, and they just, but they're even worse than us. So the establishment doesn't believe you deserve this. I do. Trump does. So you have to use free will. We're not Satanists. We're all about free will. You have to take the birthright. You have to do it. I don't care if you got brown skin or black skin or pink skin like I got. I don't care because I'm not white. I'm actually kind of red. I just want to be an attorney with you and I want to be your friend. There's unlimited resources, next level. Next, next level, it's, it's non-zero sum game. It's all there. But you have to accept that we're at the crossroads of the end of America, the death of America, the last 4th of July, or eternity. Because the Satanists and the globalists, and they're, they're a walled-off tomb. They're oblivion or the future, but you've got to act like a visionary. You've got to believe and you've got to go against the censors and the bots that make you feel bad when you share links or you speak out. It's all social engineering that means nothing. You want to be under attack. You want to be over the target. You want to be in that position. This July 4th is the relaunch of human destiny. It's 1776. It's, it's, it's the renaissance worldwide it is the big contention it's the human spirit in a coma for decades waking up for the challenge and i know at a gut level many of us will make it through this some of you won't so let's spend our time and energy remembering where we've been how far our ancestors have come and where we are now looking to the future not just thinking about ourselves because you think like oh i'm greedy i'm about myself no no that actually thinking about yourself is realizing the great past you've had, the present, and the future. I want to show, I want to show one thing before we end this transmission. Let me tell you where, we, where you're going. You're either going to end right now and just be an animal, or you're going to go here. You're going to go into infinity.
It doesn't ever end. This is what the enemy fears. This is what they don't like. Union, simplicity, complexity, symbiotic. This is a non-zero-sum game. There's not a pizza. And this is all we share for eternity. The universe is life and unlimited potential, not just in the trillions of galaxies chronicled, but beyond that. We can go up. We can go down. That's the whole future right there. And these assholes want to control you. So I say this is the most important date since July 4, 1776, and I know it is. And all the parties are lined up. And the globalists and their minions and their slaves want a civil war. They want a physical war. We're already ready for that. But we want you to rather join us in the compendium of the future, which many of you have done. But they want this to be our last July 4th. And I say it will be their last July 4th. All right, great job, crew. That's it for this transmission. Some key videos coming up right now. They don't want you to see. Please share this live video against the censors. It is an act of resistance in a world of universal deceit. But the good news is this is just one world. This is just the embryonic level. Through that gate, whether it be a black hole or a planet or a dimension, through that point, everything else is possible. All right. I'll see you back live tomorrow, 4 p.m. Central, with the Sunday Transmission.